Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, May 26th, and I am here in a state park called Tomoka State Park, which is located about 25 minutes north of Daytona Beach, Florida. And just doing a little solo camping trip here for a day, for a night. You might be wondering, how am I doing a solo camping trip in a tent, as you can see behind me, when it's almost the summertime here in Florida, where we get extreme temperatures, you know, 90 degrees Fahrenheit plus during the daytime, hot, humid. Well, you're right, it does get uh, very hot and humid, and it'd probably be really uncomfortable to sleep in a tent in those type of weather conditions. But there's a solution to it, which is what I'm going to show you here in this video. So uh, let's get right to it. There's a couple of important pieces of equipment that you need in order to uh, make this work so you can camp out in Florida during the summertime without being uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, so obviously the first thing you're going to need is a tent. As you can see here, I do have the tent now. It's not just any tent that you can have. Uh, there's a certain tent that you're gonna need that has a air conditioning vent on it. So yes, you heard me correctly. There are tents that have a air conditioning vent built into it that you can put a portable air conditioning, like a wall air conditioning unit up to the vent. And this is one of those tents here, which you can pick up in Walmart. It's just called the four person, actually this is a six person instant cabin tent. They make a couple different sizes. They make a four person, I think they even make a eight person or 10 person. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and show you this AC vent here as you can see. So what's, in, what's uh, unique about this is it has this flap here. And this is where you can put the AC unit underneath. As you can see how we have set up right here. And it's got these guy lines that you can stake down. And inside there, I have some, uh, well, this is just some foam um, inner tubing that I have to help keep the air uh, blowing into the tent and not escaping out the sides. I have it propped up against this uh, milk crate because the vent, it's a mesh vent right there. It comes up a good maybe like foot or two from the base of the tent. So you need to have something propped up. You need to have the AC unit propped up against something so it's level with uh, where the mesh is. And I have some plywood I picked up at Home Depot to help prop this different things up there. So you're gonna need the AC unit vent tent an AC, a wall AC unit, and I just have it plugged in right here with an extension cord to the electrical box. Just like this. And in order for this to work, you are going to need a campsite that has electric uh, as well. So, Make sure to get a campsite that you can hook up a electrical unit to. Um, let's see. So aside from the tent and the AC unit, you're going to need a tarp to drape over the tent, just like how I have here. So this tarp is used so that when the AC unit is running, it helps uh, keep the cold air inside and keeps it from escaping as quickly because this tent has uh, some mesh on the top for ventilation and if you don't have that covered then the cold air is going to escape very quickly from there so this helps to prevent that or at least uh, keeps it from keeps it in there longer. And then you can just put the rain fly that it comes with over the tarp. 
But um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look inside. See, see how it all works. Come on in. So, here we have the uh, AC unit, and it's up against this uh, square built-in uh, mesh window. This is all mesh, so, you know, bugs aren't going to get through that or anything. you got to put your wall AC unit right up against it. Um, <clears throat> This, I just have a towel here to help prevent the air from escaping. And uh, as you can see, the uh, foam tubes here. And uh, now, the AC unit that you buy for this, um, there's a couple different ones. You can just get a cheap one at Walmart. Um, I bought one that comes with a, uh, it's digital, so you can use a remote to control the uh, thermostat. This helps a lot because some AC units you have to turn a knob to uh, adjust it, which means that you're gonna have to, if you have one of those, you're gonna have to, you know, reach up against the mesh and try to, you know, adjust your uh, settings on it like that. Uh, so this comes in handy because you can just do it right from the remote. And um, let's go ahead and turn this guy on here. There you go. So it's running here. Um, now, I haven't figured out how to keep the AC unit running the whole time. So it does kind of shut off every now and then. Um, I don't know if there is a setting to just keep it running constantly the whole time. Uh, but it definitely cools off the tent very well. It doesn't feel hot or humid in here when it's running. Uh, when it shuts off, uh, you know, it, you can definitely start to feel the warmth a little bit, uh, but it stays cool enough, you know, for a while until it turns back on again. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've gotten really good sleep in here. Uh, didn't wake up, you know, hot and sweaty or anything. So that's pretty much it. I mean, so if you're someone like me who loves camping and, you know, lives in Florida where it's very seasonal and hard to do it all year round, well, this might be a solution for you so you can still enjoy your camping even during the summer months. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed and hopefully this uh, helps you out and gets you motivated to do some more uh, outdoor camping here in Florida and uh, stay tuned for the next video. All right.